Let's take a look at this graphic. This is 4K ultra high definition. This is regular full high definition. And this is standard definition. Movies on VHS and on TV until the late 2000s were in standard definition. That's about 480 pixels tall. Really small when you think about things today. Then we went from standard definition up to full high definition, which is 1080p, which stands for 1080 pixels tall and it ends up being 1920 pixels wide. Let's look at another graphic. Standard TV, high definition, 720p, which is 720 tall, versus high definition, or 2K, which is just a little bit wider to make the horizontal count from 1920 to 2048. Then we have 4K and ultra high def, which 4K stands for 4096 pixels wide. So when you have a 4K image that you're displaying at regular high definition, you can zoom in on it only to see a quarter of the image and still have every pixel represented on your 1080 window. Therefore, you will lose zero quality if you zoom in up to 50% on a 4K image. That's why even if you're showing your video in 1080, it's still helpful to have a 4K piece of video because if you need to zoom in for any reason, you can still have a high quality image when you export it. This is not the case when you zoom in on a regular high definition video. Now people are shooting higher than 4K, sometimes 5K or 8K, which is probably too much if your final delivery is only a 1080 piece of video, but it serves a similar purpose if your final export needs to be in 4K. You can zoom in on an 8K video and still have that 4K crispness when you export it. And that's the difference between HD, 4K, etc.